What's up, guys? Another void here with more Feed the Beast Monster Dungeon Craft Season 5, Episode 12, actually. Um, I think I said in the Episode 11 that we're going to be doing um, the sorting system. I hope, really hope it's dark because, no, it's almost dark. Uh, because now that I've got all this power, which you can see it's totally full now, um, three, uh, 30 million RF, and I can get pretty much, I can fill it up in like 20 seconds or maybe a couple minutes or something from that reactor we just built. Um, I was going to do the sorting system because now I can, you know, feed those, uh, feed a quarry forever pretty much. But I think what I want to do, I, I did some research on golems and I want to work on that. There's one more thing I want to get before I want to make this, this setup I got because I want the golems to auto harvest for me. Um, I've done a lot of auto harvesting or in the past, but I've never used golems. It's something I've always wanted to do. Let's just grab some wheat. I'm not sure. I'm going to need, I need three wheat. I don't need that much wheat. So there we go. Oh, 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 damn. Serious? Die. Well, this is not good, guys. This ain't good, G. All right, well, he's dead. So fine. He he had to die just to, just to get in the video. So anyway, um, I'm going to make some straw golems so they can do harvesting for me. And I'm pretty much set up. I'm going to do it on these magic farms down here. And that way I don't have to micromanage the, the, the magic farms when I, I need like a whole bunch of something, right? So you can see these guys are pretty much fully grown here. Um, I'm going to put a chest in each of these rooms and, and these golems are going to micromanage this for me. So let's pop that out and wow, this thing builds way too fast or does that way too fast. Um, that's okay because we need to do this. We need to do that. And now I wish I never would have done that. Let's see. There we go. I can jump out right here. All right, so let's put this down. Then we're going to put a chest and an upgrade. We're going to upgrade these to, to uh, gold. Now, I don't think the golems will stop if the chest is full. So I really don't know. And we have a hoe. I wonder if this will work. Um, I wonder if we can still use this after we use it up once. Hopefully we can. Um, I'm not sure how to stop them from actually working when everything's full. I don't know if they have the right... Can you put, add, do redstone or something? I'm not really sure. Let's plant this down, and then we'll just put... this. Since that's going to end up in here anyway, we'll just put that in here. So there we go. We got one of them set up right there. And then we got... We're going to set one up here. So, boom. Pop that off real quick. Hit that guy. All right, here we go. Wow, we got a duplication. That's pretty rare, actually. Setting up the second chest here. There we go. Oh, that's not good. That's not what we want. I can hit it with a uh, wrench to change the direction, though. Not that it really matters, but... I thought I could... I was doing it before. That's weird. Can I, like, left-click it? Shift-left-click? Huh. I could have swore... Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it's... I don't know. That's not working, either. That's not working. That's not working. Alright, let me just pick it up. Maybe that'll help. Because I really want it facing the front there. Not again. It's not gonna really matter, but you know me. I'm pretty OCD about that stuff. So, okay, so we got this all set up. Let's let's uh, replant this dude, and then let's put this junk in here because that's where it's gonna end up. Okay, so we're all set. We've got our chests all set up. Let's go make ourselves some golem. Let's go do some magic, guys. I told you I was gonna get into Thongcraft this season. It is a little. I still feel like like it's a little late in the season, even though it's only episode 12. Um, I want to do more Thongcraft. It's just Thongcraft is so different. And so complex, it takes forever just to kind of figure out how to work it. It's very different, and they keep changing it. He changes it a lot, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> I have to relearn it every time. So I've researched a few things here, as you can see. I've been working a little bit. Actually, not on that page, on Gollumancy here. I've already done a lot of stuff here. Hold on, there's some beeping going on. So I'm going to just turn this off because I know you guys were really having a hard time with it. Uh, last time it was it was going out of control. There's actually one more thing I want to make, and I didn't even put it in my list here. Oops, that's not it. I need a Gollumancer's Bell, and I need to make that in my regular house because that's not something you make with Thongcraft stuff. Or let me just bring some of it over there. You need some, uh, is it Nexus Quartz or something? What's it called? Oh, Nether Quartz, and I only have three. Seriously, I need four, damn it. Let's see. How do you, no, that's not it. You? Did something tell you how to get this? Oh, well, let's just go to the nether real fast and get one more piece. I think this video is going to be kind of short anyway, so. We have extra time. Oh, 
remember I told you about this nexus kind of thing I got going on here? It's kind of cool, huh? Like, I can click that, and it's a way to teleport all the way all around. Oh, shoot. Run! And there's a piece right there, but I'm not going to do it right here. All right, so go. Whoa, what's this guy? Hate Scar Spider. This is not good. <laughs> you got shot. You died. Oh, damn. Serious? I don't have enough stuff going on right now, guys. <laughs> Critted your ass. All right, let's go pick up the stuff. We might need it. Let's go where this guy can't see us. Maybe he'll leave us alone. All right, so there's sulfur. We don't need sulfur. Man, there's another one of those things. Hmm. Where is that guy, anyway? There he is. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna knock this back to you. Uh! Run! All right, let's find some. I've kind of mined it all out right here, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to find any. There's some... Now nah, that'll work. Are they pissed? Because I'm... Digging this? I don't think they would be. Oh, they're... They're mad at me. All right, well, you're gonna die, I guess. So, let's mine some of this. Boom. There we go. We're not going to get a lot, because we're on camera. So, let, that's probably good. Alright, let's go back to our little hot safe spot here. What's this? Another essence ore. Yeah, we don't need that. Hey, what's up, G? Die! <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Alright, we got to eat. That's odd that I, I was full just a second ago. What happened? All right, so let's go back to overworld. Don't fall. Usually I don't have to do anything in the nether, so I'm not used to coming out here. Oh, a blaze is in here. What are you doing in here? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I thought he was dead. How would you even get in here? Oh, yeah. Don't burn the book. All right, so let's go back to base. I want to say you just put this in the first, but I'm going to try to put it in sag mill to see if I get duplication here. I don't think I will, but whatever. Nope, can't do it. Okay, so let's put it in the furnace. Oh, that's crap. Furnace mode. Boom. Hurry up! Listener, or viewers are waiting. Oh, I'm actually glad that I got that because I am going to need some glowstone, but I only need a few pieces, and I reset everything. I only need two pieces of glowstone. And saltpeter? That's crap. Well, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. I'm not gonna. Well, again, this is so short. I only need two, right? That's what she said. Hopefully not. Um, that I will just do this. Let's see, salt Peter or let's put it in here. Maybe it knows where it to go to put it. Let's go back real quick again. I could have swore that was Nether quartz. Apparently, it wasn't. It looks exactly the same. I should have looked at the stupid tooltip, and I'd know it wasn't Nether quartz. But whatever. I thought there was some right here actually. Is there some right here? Yeah. Here we go. Boom. Okay, good. We only need one piece. Alright. Now we're ready. So anyway, that really worked. That really helped because, um... I needed that glowstone, and I forgot to pick it up, actually. So it's good. It should go... Wait, what did I pick up? That string? Okay, good. Oh. And... That stuff. Alright, now let's go make some golems. Alright, as soon as we actually run fast. Come on! <laughs> Stop trolling, man! Stupid. My own my own world is trolling me now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna make are the golems. Okay, um, I'm gonna make straw golems, and there are actually lots of different kinds of golems, but the straw ones will work for me. They're usually the kind of golems that you'd use on a farm to harvest for you, um, and they have attributes. Each golem has a, a set of attributes: durability, strength, self repair, carry limit, speed, and upgrades. So one upgrade. That's all you can put into this thing. I'll tell you about those in a second. So durability, this thing dies easily. It doesn't hit very hard if you set it to, for if you make it a guarding um, golem. It will not hurt the mobs very much. It uh, self repairs at a pretty good rate as it you know when it gets damaged. Carry can only carry one item at a time, but it's very fast. It runs very fast. So this is how you make it: uh, throw a hay bale into the crucible with these um, attributes in them or aspects. So you know what we're gonna need more wheat because we need some hay bales so let's go do that should have just brought a whole stack huh especially since it restored sorted everything i had in there i had it all sorted out so i knew what i was going to need again how am i already needing to eat i just ate 
Maybe because I'm doing super speed all the time. And I'm going the wrong way. Maybe this will fill up the whole episode, because we're already at 10 minutes. So let's make those first. Let's First thing we're going to do is make hay bales. So hay bales are real simple. I think it's like this. It might be a square. Or Yeah, there we go. I need two of those. I'll lock that in, because I might need more of these guys. Let's just keep that up here. And so... Now, I wrote all this stuff down. To get... Um, Oh, Humanus. Actually, I didn't write this one down. Let's look. There's going to be a link in the video description for a list I found of how to get uh, all these aspects really easily. To me, I don't want to mess around uh, trying to figure out how to get this stuff. So it doesn't really make any sense to me to worry about figuring out by hand and writing it all down which uh, items give you the aspects you know, better than other items. So Humanus you can get from this. You can see there's one right there. So let's take a half stack of that. This is something I actually didn't get. Ooh, we already had three. Nice. Um, what's the other thing I'm going to need? It is um, Modus. So Modus. The easiest way to get Modus is trap doors. Pretty sure we made some trap doors. I think they're probably uh, up there in the uh, Thomcraft place. So trap doors. And aren't they like this? Yeah, let's get a few of those. Six ought to do it, because we only need... Oh, I haven't even looked... Oh, cool. I have not even looked at these guys yet. So let's do something like this. Boom, I haven't even done the research for that yet. Actually, we need ten of these. I think each one of them take... Actually, each one takes... Takes four. So I need eight, which is perfect, because when you make one, you get two. So, boom. Okay, lastly, I'm going to need... One, uh, Spiritus. So, Spiritus, the easiest way to make that is gas tears. We do not have that. Soul sand. We can do that. Yeah, soul sand. Let's see. How much does it get you? Ah, oh, I haven't looked at that either? Yeah, yeah. I've seen we'll you one. Okay. So, I'm going to take... You need eight of these, right? Six, seven, eight. We'll put these back. Boom. Okay, now we're ready to make our straw golems. And I already brought everything else uh, for, the, everything, for the other stuff. So, actually, real quick, I did want to make some um, obsidian pressure plates so that I can put those outside. And mobs cannot enter my house with the pressure plates, but I can. And there's a really easy way to do that. So we get some obsidian here. We just make, make basically pressure plates, but we're going to use obsidian. This is a special mod all unto itself that just makes plates that you can put down so that mobs cannot actually activate them. Uh, and that's really, as far as I know, that's the only thing in the whole mod. So well, let's do this. Let's see. Pop that guy off. Let's just put them all around so that mobs can't follow us around and troll us. There we go. Okay, cool. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I wanted to do it on camera in case people didn't know about that. Okay, so we're ready to make golems. We already have water in there. I don't think it autofills. Let's get our bucket out. So what we're going to need to throw in there is we need four each, right? So we're going to do four soul sand. We're going to do four trap doors. And four of these dudes, right? Oh, I can't do that? Okay, let's do it here. So four of these guys. All right. Now we're going to throw in one hay bale. Boom! There's a golem. So that's one straw golem. Let's do it again. Four of those, four of those, and what's going to happen though is we've got extra aspects in there that are going up into the t as taint. Okay, you can't see it right now, but it's or I'm sorry, flux, and that's bad. That's very bad for the environment, and you'll start getting some adverse effects if you have too much flux coming out of that. It did not use up the water. Interesting, cool. I'm glad because I don't like to redo that. So we're also going to need nitor. We got our two straw golems. Now we're gonna make, um, we're gonna make the cores, okay? And I didn't talk about cores, did I? So if you go into Golemancy here, we've made our two straw golems, okay? Now there are these cores, and this is what you, how you tell the straw golems what you want them to do. Each one of these cores does a different thing. So this one gathers when when anything's on the ground, the golem will gather that item into the chest that you right-click the golem onto when you first set up the golem. Uh, if you put this um, core on the golem, and I'll show you how to do that. 
And then we've got Harvest. These are the only two that I've actually researched. Um, there are a lot of other ones, as you can see. Uh, empty a chest or something like that, an inventory. Fill up an inventory and guard you. This is actually where if any mobs come by, they'll, they'll punch them, basically. Uh, and there's a few other ones that we haven't researched yet and they're hidden. Um, but we only need the gather and the harvest. What's going to happen is the harvest one is going to harvest anything that's fully grown, and it's going to replant the seed uh, when we put a special bonus um, thing on our golem. If we don't put that on, all it will do is knock down the uh, fully grown plant, and, it, and then the seeds will just sit there. Uh, the gather golem is going to pick up anything on the ground that the other guy didn't replant. So that's what we're going to do. We're also going to need, and we didn't we didn't uh, spec this out actually. I'm going to need one of these, an order upgrade. Um, this is what will actually get him to plant the the uh, harvesting guy to replant. We have not we'll purchased that research. Nice. I don't have to actually do any research. It's just purchase it. So we can do that. Golem upgrade order. Okay, order shard. We only need one of these and then gold nuggets. We are going to have to go back and get... Oh, we should have some actually. Cool. And then gold nuggets. We can get that pretty easily like this. We should be good to go now. I think it gives you nine actually. Yeah, perfect. So we're good to go with that. Um, let's actually just make that real quick. So we're going to make... This is an, an upgrade. The only They only take one core, but you can put... For the straw golem, you can put... Oh, you got to do in the arcane. That makes sense. The arcane table. So, but in the straw golem, we can only take one upgrade. So that's fine for us. We only need one anyway. We do have our two straw golems. Let's make... Oh, we need Nitor, because that's part of making the blank cores. You always have to start out with a blank, uh, and then you can make... You change those into the kind of type of core you want. So we need four bricks for each core, blank. And we're going to need some Nitor. So to make Nitor, it's a... Uh, Let's just look it up real quick in case you don't know. So there goes that flux, and it just hit me for some damage. Okay? So that's bad. It just leaked out of there. Um, so let's see here. Nitor. It should be under Alchemy, and it's just Ignis, Lux, and Potentia, and you throw in some gold Glowstone, and you're good. It's three apiece, so that means we're going to want to do um, three of these torches... We're going to need to make two of these, right? And then we need... Um, coal is two each, so we only need we only need three coal. It will do all of it. And I'm pretty sure we can just do it like this. Now I, can, I have enough to make two, right? So let's make one, and let's make another one. There we go. Now we have our two Nitor, okay? So now with uh, we can go ahead and start making those cores. So the way the cores work is like that, and then like this. And it actually is going to use... Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, that's right. I gotta change this out with a nitor. If you put a nitor under there, it'll also keep the water boiling. Um, See, so it'll make these blank cores, okay? Insufficient vis. Interesting. Oh, it's, is it gonna pull it out of there? Probably. Um, let's try that. So Ignis and... I'm not sure what that is. Let's look that up. I think it'll tell me how to make the cores in here. I think it will anyway. Let's look. So is it going to tell me how to make this core here? Ah, Arcane Workbench. It's Ordo and Ignis. I know how to get Ignis. Let's look at Ignis, though. There might be a better way to get it. Coal, yeah. Okay, Ordo is Silverwood Logs. Jellum or Potentia. Huh? Potentia is an actual attribute. Act what? So I think Silverwood Logs is the way to get it. Ordo. Um, Jellum. Yeah, we're not making any jellum. So let's go get... I think I have some silverwood logs. I don't have a lot of them, though, so hopefully you get a lot out of this. Of course, we only need to make... Well, no, we need to make a couple of these, actually. That's odd for the kind of the first part of uh, golems to have to need silverwood. Yeah, I got tons. So let's just bring that up here. This, you, I don't n think you use silverwood anywhere else. How many of these we need? Five? You get one of it? Okay, so we're gonna it's 5.5, so we're actually gonna need 11. I thought it pulled it out of the wand. See, there goes some more. It's leaking out right now. Insufficient vis. Interesting. If I hold that wand... I can, oh, I have none in this wand. Do I have any in the other wand? Let's look. Yeah, I got tons in this. Okay, let's put this one in there. Still says insufficient vis. I'm not sure... Do I have to throw it over here? Oh! Oh! Hmm. 
Well, I'm gonna be right back. I don't want to do this and screw it up. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I figured it out. Now, the way you recharge wands is using nodes. Um, and they spawn throughout the world, just like they always have in all the... Well, I think they used to spawn in Silverwood trees, but I don't, I don't think they do that anymore in Thom Thomcraft 4. To find them, you gotta use a Thomonomic... Uh, uh, what's this thing? What the heck's this thing called again? Thomometer or, or the goggles, which I have not gotten yet. And so I found one here. There's one uh, over there in that ca cavern area, and there's one like way over there. There's, there's not a lot of nodes here. So you can't see it now. Oh, you can see it a little bit. See that? But now I can really see it. See? So I'm going to right click. Tells me what's in there. Ordo. Yes. Perfect. It's a composite, and it's got a lot of different stuff in there. So let's just do this. Oh, my ordo is already full. What else do I need? It was the other one, huh? So I'm right clicking. See how it's pulling the energy out? You gotta be kind of careful that you don't kill this thing. Oh, it's pulling ordo out. That's what it's pulling. That's what we need. So let's check this thing. I wonder if. You... Okay, I can still see how many. I I don't want to pull it all out. Okay, see how it's regenerating just now? It just regenerated itself. If you drain the whole thing, it will disappear. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's let's do the one I already did, so I won't drain the whole thing. So let's check it now. It's still good. See. Um, let's do this one. I want to see what it would do if I did this. Yeah, see, it's pulling a little bit from each one. So I don't have to wait till that thing regenerates. Let's go over here and see what this one, what this one will do. Uh, there's a better way to do this, which we will talk about later at some other time. But let's go check this one out. Actually, we just need to go this way. I might have to make a road to the, to the aura. Um, but there's a, there's a way cooler way to, to recharge these and stuff. Um... But I really didn't find many. I thought I'd find a lot more than that. So there's one over in this cavern over here. It's right over here. Ah, so you can kind of see the shadow. Well, I can see the shadow of it. You probably can't. It's right here. So this one has... I don't know what those are called. But let's, let's see if I can pull stuff with this. Oh, yeah, I did. I pulled a little bit. Now this thing's full. I'm doing shift to see the uh, vise that's in this wand. So let's do this one. Let's, let's look at how much it has again. 45 and 47. We got plenty. So we can charge this wand all the way up too. And uh, it won't kill the node off. So there we go. I think that's air and earth. Pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. See? Still good. Okay, so that's decent. I do need to find nodes for, um, is it chaos and something else? Or disorder? I can't remember. And fire. So I didn't find those. I think I found something like that in the, in the snow area, but it takes forever to get there. I might. Oh, you know what I should do? I should add that to my um, teleportation system in the Nether. I should just get some, uh, get a few more of those books, and then set up like that as part of a Nexus thing to to travel around and and suck off those nodes. So let's. Okay, here we go. Let's put this one back in and see if it'll work now. See, we still need Ignis, but now we have the Ordo we need. I'm gonna have to find an Ignis node. Let's. I'll make some books. I'll be back. We're gonna. I'm gonna set that up because I'm gonna try to find. I'm gonna travel over to that node I found before and set up a book so I can just keep going back there. So I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, I'm back and I'm actually in the Nether here setting up the uh, the access, easy access to nodes here. This is actually a really cool way to do it. And I did find that third um, node I found actually did have Ignis, so that's pretty cool. Um, that. The first one I showed you had Herba, which is a complex, or it's not a, uh, a primal aspect. And so I can't draw that out until I get to more advanced stuff, and I can draw that uh, that aspect out. So let's go to Terra, this Air, Terra Ignis one, the last one I need. And we're going to, well, let's, first let's check to make sure I'm not going to run this thing out. Oh, it's got plenty. It's got 61. In fact, I can fill up both wands, and I think I'll do that. So Ignis here, looking good. Um, let's pull it out. Well, let's see. Remember, you want to make sure you don't drain the whole thing. Got to leave something in there. So filling up both wands is a good idea just because I know I'm going to run out. So having two wands is better. I need to make better wands, but for now, this is, this will work. So see, I'm right back here in the Nexus area. And bam. I probably should make that area a little bit bigger and nicer now that uh, now that uh, I have a lot of books in there and stuff. So now we can do what we want to do. We've got the vise in the wand to actually create the items we want to create, to create those cores. So let's go do the, just that. So I wasn't even sure this would take 30 minutes, but apparently it is taking 30 minutes, which is kind of good, actually. Okay, so we know this one's full. Pop that sucker in and make our two cores. 
boom pulls it right out of the wand see let's look at our wand now yep drained it decent amount not really horrible so let's leave this one in there okay it's got the most V's um, now let's make the advanced core here the uh, order there we go ah that costs 11 so it's kind of a good thing that we have uh, that we filled that sucker up we only have 14 left okay now we have what three or something six three okay okay so well wait this one's full oh it has three ordo okay that's good to know okay so I think we have everything now now we need to make the last part of our cores okay um, to do that we're gonna need the first core requires the harvesting core I'm pretty sure anyway is it the harvesting core I don't remember one of them needs gold and, uh, and iron it needs the uh, well, it's, I can't, I don't know what they're called by, by looking at them, but um, it needs, yeah, no, that's not right. The the harvesting one needs this, and the other one needs this and something else. What is it? I can't remember. Let's just look it up. That's probably what I should have done in the first place, huh? Okay, so the gathering core... Oh, that's okay. That's a regular core. The gathering core needs lucrum and terra. That's what it needs. Lucrum and terra. I was going to use dirt. So it needs five of each. So let's do the gathering core real quick. So how much terra is in this dirt? Two. So I need I need six or three dirts. One, two, three. And uh, that's not the gathering one. This one is two. So I only need two pieces of gold because there's two each. No, I need three because you need five, right? It's five, right? Let's look again. Yep, five. Okay, so and we go one, two, three. Throw a core in there. Boom. Where's the core? It ate the core. Why did it do that? Wait a minute here. Why would it do that? Throw a core in with Terra and Lucrum. Hmm, that's odd. Was I not standing close enough to it? Did it f drop in the fire or something? Can I see what's in there from this? Ooh, okay. Oh no, that's just the Crucible. It's not showing me what's inside it, I can't tell. Alright, so I'm gonna throw another core in there, I guess. Alright gather okay well now I gotta make another core and I don't I don't think I have enough um, ordo left let's go recharge the ordo apparently I should put a gate in here huh let's put one right here I have the I have the equipment to, to do one here so I'm gonna put it right here let's see hmm oh put it right here all right pink there we go and so that's gonna link me to here now we just need to go to the nether um, to do that, though, I'm going to have to go get another book in the nether. Because I didn't make this third, this last one here. Alright, so we'll do this. Super awesome, fast way to get around here. And so I need to make a book right here. So let's do that again. Oops. Okay, now we've made a book to here. So let's put... I don't know, this one can go probably right here. All right, so this one is going to be, where's the, uh, there we go, nope. This one is, uh, Arcane Tower. There we go. Okay, cool. Wait, no, Nether. Ah, oh, I put the wrong book in there. All right, there's that book. Okay, um, but first, I need to go get some more Ordo, so let's go here. I didn't get the wand, did I? Oh wait, yeah, this is this is fine. Let's see how much is in there. 31, so I could drain this whole thing. Let's drain that out, and then I'll get some Ignis from the other place real quick. Actually, I think we should be pretty good on Ignis. How are we doing on Ordo? We're probably almost out. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to go to the tower and pop this other book down here, and we should be good to go. We should have a gateway then. There now, when I'm doing Thomcraft stuff, I can get I can get back and forth uh, with these wands. So 
I think that was the one I wanted anyways. But we're gonna need more bricks and stuff. Hold on, let's just go get that real quick. And Nitor. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. And this might put us over, actually. So apparently I wasn't standing close enough? I don't know. That seems a little weird, but okay. So I'm gonna need a glowstone. I already have the, everything else to make Nitor. And I'm gonna need bricks. So I think the bricks are over here. Yeah, we're gonna even need four bricks. And that's it. Alright, let's do this for real this time, guys. And I have, let's see, I don't have enough gold. That's what it is, because I just put it, oh wait, I have some gold in here. And I only need three, uh, right? I do have, yeah, I do right here. There. And I only, I only need three wood, so I should be good to go now. Okay, here we go. Let's make the Nitor. And we need, oh no, that's, okay, let's make the Nitor in here. So we're going to need one, two of these, and three of these guys. One, two, three, and this. Oh, let's get closer. Again, where'd it go? Where's my Nitor? This is getting crazy, guys. <laughs> I think I think with goggles I could see what's in there, but I don't have goggles. Where's my... There it is. I don't have goggles. So I can't see what's in there right now. But apparently... I wonder if it's because that flux is on top of it. Can't get rid of it. Let's see if that does it. Yeah, it does. Hmm... Well, I've got tons of stuff in there now. I'm actually nauseous because of that stuff. I guess we can try that one more time. I don't understand what's going on. I'm throwing enough stuff in there. I put in four of the other stuff and three Lux. I need more coal now, actually. Uh, let's just get this. Oh, no, I don't. I need more glowstone. I don't know. Let's get a few. Let's... No, not that's too much. Let's get that much because we might need to do this more. So I think... Yeah, we're gonna have like two minutes left because this thing is like messing with us. Okay, okay, just chill. All right, we're also gonna need more dirt now. Damn it! <laughs> this is crazy. Come on, guys. Work with me here. I might just put like ten of them in there. Just be like, all right, you you wanted more, right? Uh, nah, it wouldn't be down here. The dirt is downstairs because that's much more convenient. Okay. Whoever thought I'd have to come down here and get dirt? Not me. Oops. Alright, so. Dirt and gold. Do I have enough? Yes, I have gold. I have dirt. I can, you know what? I got my notes, right? Can I double check? The, I, do, I have the gather. The harvest is two wheat. Oh, and two hoe. Yeah, I already did the, so I already did the, um, the gathering one. I need to make a core. That's what I gotta make. Okay. Okay. So, I need three of these. Now, I'm going to do this. This time, I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to make sure they all go in. So, one, two, three. And then, you heard them splash. What was the other thing? Ah, two, two of these. Why does it do that? There. And now, one of these. One, dude. Not 15. One. Now, I'm standing right on it. There we go. Finally. So it's like, if you don't stand right on it, it, it burns up or something. Let's do this. Let's make one more night horse. Screw this. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'm getting burned when I stand there. There we go. So that's going to heat this thing up. But, oh, it still burns me, huh? Oh, I guess it's the scalding water. Um, ah, yeah, I can make this because I, I only need this stuff. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's make this one more time. One, two, three. One, two. And one of these. But let's stand real close, just like we were before. And let's get burned, I don't even care. There we go. Okay, now we have the Nitor. Let's get our core. We'll do this other one all over again. And now, apparently, we just have to go really, really slow. That's too close. One, two three and why does it keep doing that <laughs> one two three 
And finally, the core, which again, now you gotta stand like on top of it. There we go, now we got our other core. Two gathering cores, oh my god! Why didn't you guys tell me? Okay, I'll make another night tour. <laughs> this is so crap. Why are you guys doing this to me? All right, now I know how to make night tour. One, two, three, one, two. Stand on top of it. Night tour, okay. Oh, now I need bricks. This this is why Thomcraft is kind of a pain in the butt. It's 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 fun, but it's so complex that it takes ten years to actually make an item if you don't do it wrong. Uh, but still, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, seriously, guys. Come on, run! <laughs> now I'm pissed. All right, we're gonna do this for real, for realsies. There they are. All right, a core again. <laughs> now let's make the proper core this time. All right, we're gonna have to put in two hoes, so let's get that going. Two hoes, that's awesome. Three of these dudes, and we should be good. Now, I think this should make... Okay, it took that. One, two, three. Now stand on top of it. Boom, there we go, finally. Harvesting core. So we've got another core, let me just throw that in here. So we've got everything we need now. We got our golems, we got our cores, we got everything. Okay, so let's go. Oh, wait, we don't have the bell. Let's make that real fast. The bell is going to help us direct these golems and pick them up and stuff. You'll see in a sec here. And a stick. Oh, probably in the. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, well, hopefully we don't need something we don't have because there's one primal aspect we can't get. Ah, more order. That's insane. Okay, so we have enough, barely. Geomancer's Bell. This is going to help us out a lot with these um, these golems. So let's go out here. We're going to have to sleep real fast, and at least we're ready to go now. We're only a few minutes over. I'm just going to let the, the camera keep running here. I'm not going to cut any of that out. It was too hilarious, me making the wrong thing like a hundred times. Okay. So let's go over there. We should be ready to rock. We already placed the chests, and that's what you have to do when you have golems. If you want to put them to put stuff in chests, you have to place the chest down. And then, let's see, let's just do... Actually, we're going to need four, so I'll make two more off-camera. Actually, these are the more important ones, I think. Yeah, these are the more important ones. We're going to put those two guys here. You need two per chest. So I'm going to right-click this guy on the side of the chest I want him to interact with. Let's just do the front. With the chest, it doesn't matter, but we'll do the front for this guy. Now, he just sits there. He has no core. He can do nothing. Uh, let's give this guy... <clears throat> excuse me there, the gathering core... Okay, now he's going to knock stuff down, but we want him... First, let's give him the order. See that little slot? That's how many upgrade slots he have. We're going to give him the order slot, so it's in there now. And the gathering, okay? Gather core. Gather, right? Oh, the harvest core. So, I got to break this guy. Now, if you shift left click, you can break him, and you might break the stuff that's in him. Did I break it? Yes, I did. I just broke my upgrade. So we gotta make the upgrade again. <laughs> Man, this is like Fail City. So shift left clicking will break the golem, okay? And you get everything back, except there's a chance that you break whatever it is that was in the golem, which you just saw there, I broke it. So that's kind of a good learning experience there. So we need one more of those, and we need, we already have gold, let's just go over there and make this. Uh, we're gonna need more Ordo, which hopefully our uh, node has regenerated. And I should probably take both of them over there and just fill both of them up. Because we're using Ordo like it's going out of style. Alright, so let's grab this guy right here. And let's go fill both of these wands up. If it will um, give us that much. Which I don't know if it will, actually. And we're way over now because I keep screwing up. You're like, damn it, Nether? Okay, so. Which one has more? Actually, let's look at this thing again. It's got 27, so I'm not going to be able to fill up all of them. We'll fill this guy, and he should probably fill up with Ignis as well. How much does this guy have? Almost none. Three? Yeah, okay, so I'm done. I'm not going to do it again. I will do the Ignis, though. Let's fill this one all the way up. We're only missing one now. I just need to find one more node. Let's make sure this guy's good. 13, so we can't drain him that much. We've got four. Let's fill him like that. 31. Oh, he's got tons. Oops, somebody's coming after us. You hear him? He's gonna die before he gets here. Yeah, you're dead. 
All right, so let's fill this up. Got to be pointing right at it. All right, now let's look to see if it's got... Oh, 18. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough, so we're good to go now because I don't want to drain this whole thing. Let's go back to the lab here. Ooh, yeah, we're getting stuff everywhere. So this does get rid of it, we've found. Because I don't want to stand in that stuff. Okay. Let's get rid of it here. Okay, we're good. Got rid of the water? Why? Well, there's some water. Okay, so let's make this this uh, upgrade again. Uh, we need, we need uh, gold. All right, let's do that. Might as well lock this in for funsies. Okay, we got nine gold. You guys have already seen this. Now we just need to add the uh, wand, which I think it was this one that had all that stuff, right? Eleven. Wow, that's that's a lot. That's what you get for screwing up. So it's supposed to be on the harvest one. So if you just left click with the bell it will pick the golem up without breaking the golem so it'll keep all the cores and all your upgrades intact and that's how you can move the golem around which is kind of cool because once they're set on the chest you can't move them so let's go in here and reset this guy we'll put the golem down again right there and then we're going to put the harvest this is the harvest one right first we're going to put the upgrade on him and then we'll put the harvest on him make sure it's harvest now he's going to start harvesting okay and he replants after he harvests Normally, the harvesting guy will not replant. All he'll do is knock stuff down. But if you put that order upgrade on him, he will actually replant the seeds. So this guy is going to be our gatherer. He's going to pick stuff off the ground and put it in that chest. So technically, I didn't have to link the first guy to a chest. But it do you do that to kind of set his home, home point. I don't really know uh, if you have to or not. I just wanted to do it so they'd both hang out at that chest. And they actually, the radius will actually, uh, the gathering radius will fill this whole area because I think it's like four or five blocks I checked, I was checking it out. Now remember, he only does one at a time, so it will take him a while to pick stuff up. It's really only the, the initial time that they gather, though, that there's going to be this much stuff on the ground. Uh, normally, it's going to be one plant at a time, so it's not going to be a huge deal. Now remember, the gathering guy doesn't need any upgrades. He's just by himself, okay? Um, so now let's use a bell on this to kind of show you that, yes, indeed, you can pick these guys up. So I'm going to left-click this guy, not shift-left-click, just left-click. Changes him back into a little doll figure here. But you can see, if you mouse over him, where'd he go? Did he pick him up? Yes, he picked him up off the ground. That's so cool. Now if you mouse over him, you can see he's a, he's a harvest golem, and he's a straw golem, and he has the order upgrade. Now if I right-click it back here... He's on the job doing the same thing he was before. He's going to knock down anything and replant. So that's pretty much it. This thing's automated now. I don't think it'll shut off when this thing fills up. Eventually it will fill up, and that's just the way it is. And uh, it's going to take a while with a gold chest, though, so it's fine. And with the, um, the uh, chunk loader I have, this should happen all the time, and this sucker should be filled all the time with stuff that I need. So now all I have to do is do that whole process over again and set it up on this chest and I'll have it automated in here too and then I don't need 500 of these plants each I can actually plant one or two of something and you know get a bunch of stacks of it in here so that's gonna be neat I can actually this will be all the space I need for for magic crops I won't need more space than this so anyway that's nether void this is nether void signing off for episode 12 uh, straw golems for harvesting uh, for auto farming here and it was way along uh, the wall the long way around here uh, but that's the way it is and now I'm all tired I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> I'll see you guys next time stay frosty